In this video with Florina, we're going to show you how to seed a bracket, the weight classes, number to matches, start the tournament, and make any corrections. So we're first going to bring up the tournament. Seeding is very simple. We're going to want to say this 88 pound. The coaches, this is how you manually seed it. Coaches went through the list of wrestlers and picked out who should be the number one seed. Let's say it's Tanner Anderson here. We just click on his name, he becomes the number one seed. And then number two is Benjamin Bast. He's number two. All you do is keep clicking on the numbers. There you go. Now, if you want to change one, all you got to do is go in there, change him, say we're going to change him to four, and bring this kid up to three. Put some in order. You can delete their seed also by just taking out their number. And that's how you manually seed. Now we're going to come to bracketing. And we're going to bracket all the um, weight classes. So we're in 16U here. Um, never use draw all. Draw each weight class separately so you don't go and redraw anybody else that's in your tournament. This does happen. It did happen last year at Fargo. Anyway, we're going to draw these separately. So I click. Draw on. Go down the list. Now this takes longer, but this is the safest way to do it. And you don't want to be re-bracketing and re-putting the results in from a chart off the wall. Okay, so now they're all built. So once we get them all built, then we want to go number every, all the matches. First of all, we have to come to assignments and execute all our cues. So we go down from the top to the bottom and we execute these. There's like over 1,700 rest, um Matches here are 1,400, so it takes a little bit. We go to the next one. They go faster because there's less and less matches in each one. And we got them all executed. Now, all matches are assigned. They're all over here. If they weren't, they'd be, there'd be some over here yet. But now we know we got them all assigned. So next is our numbering. Now remember we started these all at one. So what we do is we're going to start this at one. We execute this. And there's a lot of matches there, so it takes a little time. And then what we do is we come to the dashboard.
And we scroll down to the bottom of that, and there's 1,038 matches in that first round. So our next number is 1,039. You click down here to close that. If you don't close that, it's not gonna work. So we execute our next one. Come to the dashboard if you're working in pairs. Your partner can be on the dashboard and you could be on the numbering and you work together on it. So this is 1447 was the last one. So this is four, oop, 48. Close it up, execute it. Fifteen, fifteen. It's the last bout number. So I'll put in fifteen, sixteen here. I'm going to execute it. Fifteen eighty three. So fifteen eighty four is my next one. Executed. 1651. 1652. Execute. Look at dashboard. 1585. That one did not. That one number. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I read it wrong. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I read that wrong. helps to have your power cord plugged in. Somehow I got unplugged. 1720 is the next number. Seventeen fifty-four. Seventeen seventy one. Now they should be all numbered. We come here and we view one of these bigger brackets. This one here. They're all numbered. Okay, to start the tournament, you go up here to Q's. 
Now I did some uh, stuff ahead of time. You can sit there and filter out which mats you're using. Um, So I'm just going to say I'm going to use mats 1 through 12. If I want to change that, oops, sorry. I can just click here and click on whatever mats I want to uh, use. If I want to use more, less, move. Sometimes you give mats away, um, just on click them. So we're using these mats. In here, we're going to use mats 1 through 12. Um, if you select them here, I could put 13 in if I wanted, 14 or whatever. Um, that's how you select those. So now what's going to happen is if we come back here, go to assignments, here's how many bouts it's going to put on each mat at a time. To change this, you can just uh, highlight and put a two, and then only put two matches in that round per mat or whatever you want to do. So let's go back to cues here. To start our tournament, we click on the play button. And now we have three matches on every one. You come down here, here's the first session one, first cue. Tells you what mat they're on. After matches get done, what happens is, as a match gets done, this number will disappear and they would put another uh, bolt on here. As, and then as Say we come down here and this is one of the first bouts that a match has a go time. It'll say dash whatever the go time is. Um, and you can watch that, um, works really nice. Now one thing you can do is you can drag and drop. Say I want this 37 all of a sudden I want this 37 over here on mat five. I can drag and drop it. And now it's on mat five. If I have later on in the tournament, if I have a goal time issue and 17 has five minutes to go and this one's ready to go, I can just drag and drop it. Um, works really slick. So then if you're going to a you want to change your matches to a different queue. You just select on here, pick which mats you're using, and you can start your your queue that way. You can turn if all of a sudden for some reason you want to stop assigning matches. You can click the pause button, and then once you're ready again, hit the play button. Uh, works really nice. If they're red, it means they're not ready. If if you come down here, some of these might not be ready. There, these are not ready. Um, if they're yellow, they're ready. Okay. Corrections. Um, we're going to go to set up here, brackets, give me one second here, we'll have to bring another page up here, all along. In flow, we want to make our changes manually, if at all possible, because if you have to redraw, if you redraw a bracket every time you want to make a change, then you have to come here and execute your assignment schemes and redo 
your numbering. And we see how long that can take. Um, sometimes it cannot be helped when it comes to a tier situation. If somehow they got someone got forgot about, and we need um, if you can fix it uh, manually, then do that. But most of the time, you don't want to get into that, and you're going to have to redraw it. So again try to fix it manually if you can. To remove a wrestler on a bracket, so we're gonna go to 106 pounds, and we're gonna wanna take Sean Quick from the pier off. If we, if we click, left click on his name, his box comes up with all his, his profile box his, with his information. If we right click on his name, we get three options. We can replace the wrestler, swap the wrestler. If you click swap, you can sit there um, and just go click on a different wrestler and it will swap the two or replace it with a buy. We're going to eliminate them. We say yes. Now we have a buy-in for him. Now, if you come here, we get off this bracket. We see here that there's a triangle. So it's going to say Shane Quick is missing. Um, so we want to take him off. So we can type in his last name, start of it. So here's Shane Quick. Go to his profile page and take out his weight class and save him. Now, now the triangle is gone. Anytime you see a triangle, try to figure out what happened. Okay, adding a wrestler to a chart manually. You need to go to data management. We're going to add a wrestler. So we're going to type in Joe Jones. Oop. Help if I get it right. His team. Is Amory. Division is 16U. Exact weight, let's say he's um, 87.1. So he's going to 88 pound weight class. Um, we might want to put a USA card number or something else in here. We can do that. Now we just added him. He's saved. Go to setup and bracket. Notice we have a triangle here. We, now we need to go and put them on the chart. So we view the chart. We figure out where we want to put them. Um, I would count the buys, make sure they're even. Uh, they're, we're just say for now that they're even. And we're gonna to wanna to put the kid here because there's no other competitors from his state there or his club. So this is where we decide to put him. So we right click and we're gonna select the wrestler. We type in his last name, start typing it in, Jones. We see Joe Jones. And then um, That's probably not the right place to put it, but because um, now we got a zero A, it should be like a one A or whatever. Um, but zero A probably would work. So there's the first match. And then down here, it put him in uh, 
where we have a uh, its constellation match number. Okay, so that's how you add one. Again, I should have looked at that a little bit better, but you get the gist of it. Moving wrestlers between weight classes. So we're going to go get out of this way. Mm -hmm. Let's go back here and look at this one so I can fix it. I'm going to put this to 1A. Hopefully that takes care of the problem. If everybody's seen, I just right clicked on this bulb number and I can change the bulb numbers manually. Yep, that took care of it. All right, so we're going to go into 138 here. And Brandon Dean from New Jersey is going to go down to 132. So we click, uh, left click on his name. We change his weight class to 132. And we save it. Brandon Dean. Now we want to come here, right click, and replace him with a buy. And we say yes. Do we need to go to the 132 pound weight class? Notice we have the triangle here with Brandon Dean. And we figure out where we want to put him. Again, count the buys, figure out where the teammates are. Um, we're going to put them here. So we're going to select the wrestler. Now notice the box is not here. You have to come up to the top. I'm going to type in Dean. Or start to. Now here again, it picks out all numbers with an A on. And it looks good. Usually you want to come down and check these. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen them wrong, but. Okay, so that's how you do that. After um, tournament starts, Let's just stay on 132 here. Um, so we don't have matches here. Okay, so Aiden Colbert from Illinois is out of the tournament. We just click on this bout number and Aiden is out. Um, so we pick him as the winner and it's injury. And we save that result. Um, okay, where'd you go here? Oh, right here. Okay, if we want, we can click on him and put a comment. Okay, we have to come up to the top. We can write, um, type red carded.
Now, usually I just, on the red card, figure out which matches is next if he's not out of the tournament and just watch for that bout and put where I can, like if it's 892 here, on the loser after 580, I can put in his result, his, uh, put in that uh, red card for that match. Um, and that is it for today. Thank you.